Hey y'all, so now it's in the morning vlog. And like I said, this week I'm doing tag videos for Veda or Vita. Um, and I was trying to look for one that was a little bit different. And I found a NICU tag for mom and dads who have had babies that um, have to stay some time in the NICU. And my firstborn was actually a NICU baby, so I thought I would go ahead and do this tag. Um, I think there is 10 questions, so not too long. Let's see, the first question is, what is your NICU's baby or baby's name, and how old is he or she now? So, my NICU baby's name is Yvette, and she is now 8 years old, right? Um, number two, why did your baby need to be in the NICU, and did you expect it it for them to have been there? Did you expect them to be there? Uh, she was in there because she was born at 34 weeks um, after I um, developed preeclampsia, and did I expect her to be there? No, before, or how do you say it? No, I didn't expect her to be there, but once I found out I had preeclampsia, yeah, I did expect her to stay some time in the NICU. Uh, three, what is the birth and what was the birth and length of your NICU baby? She was born at four pounds, uh, seven, five ounces, and she was. 16.3 inches long, I believe. It's been eight years. Um, and how long did your baby stay in the NICU? She stayed in the NICU for 11 days, almost two weeks. And what was the toughest thing, or some of the toughest things that your child uh, was faced during the hospitalization? Um... There was n no, no one thing. She had um, underdeveloped lungs, so she was on oxygen 24-7. Um, she also had jaundice, so she was in the, um, you know, box for like three days or something. Uh, she also had a heart murmur, so she had to be... Um, on heart monitor the whole time. Um, but there was n no one thing that was that stood out that made us um, worry about her. She was in great hands. What was the toughest thing that I faced while, or you faced while your child was in the NICU? Um... Well, back then, I guess it would just be, the toughest thing was just visiting her, just seeing her there, um, kind of just helpless and so little and fragile and any little thing, um, if anything went wrong, it could just take a turn for the worse and that was horrible to think about. Um, what helped you cope emotionally during your baby's NICU stay? The nurses were awesome. They always... I even had a few of them call me personally just to tell me how she did that day um, for the days that we weren't able to go in. So that was very um, comforting to know that the nurses weren't there just to take care of her, but they were there to make sure that um, we knew that she was okay also. And every day she progressed more and more and more. She was gaining weight and doing awesome. So we thank the nurses for helping us um, stay calm. Uh, let's see, what's the next one? Eight. What is the length and weight of your baby now? Now I think she's already over 50 pounds. And I have no idea how tall she is. She hasn't been to her checkup lately. Um, but probably over four feet. 
Um, how has the NICU experience changed you, and what have you gained from it? Um, I guess just knowing that you can never um, be ready for what's going to happen, especially uh, if you're rushed to the hospital or have um, something happen during your pregnancy. You never know what's going to happen. And um, being in the NICU, you definitely meet a lot of parents and see a lot of babies that actually have it uh, worse than you or not as worse. So anything can happen in the NICU, huh? You're still hungry? All right, I'll get you something. I just cooked some breakfast and I'm still hungry. Uh, and last but not least, number 10, what advice would you give to other parents who have children in the NICU? No, no, I have no candies, no. Yeah. Um, my advice would be just to ask questions. I know it can be intimidating um, in a hospital sometimes, but asking questions and staying informed as to what's going on with your baby can be very helpful and sometimes you might see them hooked up to all these monitors and just knowing that it's keeping track of your their heart or their um, other things just makes you feel a little bit better knowing that they're you know being watched um, also take advantage of the services they have um, either if you're gonna if you want to plan if you plan on breastfeeding take their breastfeeding classes or um, their CPR ca classes especially if you're having a super tiny baby that's going to be going home with you soon you want to know how to give it to me to take care of them and that is it 10 questions if you had your baby in the NICU excuse me um, I tag you, tag it, and I'll see you tomorrow for day 19. Bye.